Today in our 2011 Dodge Dakota, we'll be installing and taking a look at the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, Class 3 with a 2-inch opening, part number 13229. Here's what our Kurt Trailer Hitch looks like installed in our Dodge Dakota. Very easy, 3-bolt installation, and it requires no drilling. It uses existing holes from the factory to install it. It's made from a nice sturdy steel construction that has a nice black powder coat finish that's going to resist rust and corrosion. This is a Class 3 with a 2-inch by 2-inch opening and a 5 8 pinhole. You have easy access to your chain hold downs here when you're hooked up to your trailer for your safety chains. And this hitch is rated for 500 pounds of tongue weight and 5,000 pounds of towing capability. You always want to double check your vehicle's capacity and use whichever is lower between the vehicle and the hitch. Now I'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help choose some accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the nearest edge of the bumper is three inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 18 and a half inches. That'll help you choose accessories such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. Now we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. To start our install, I'll go ahead and point out the mounting locations. We'll be using the hole here in our bumper and these two brackets that are attached to the underneath of the bumper. In a lot of applications from the factory, there's a rubber cover here that you will go ahead and pop off, but for this application, it's already been removed. Now the next step is to raise our hitch into position and secure it loosely through our bumper with a three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch flathead socket cap screw. Here's our bolt. You can see there's an Allen head. Feed that through the hole in our bumper. We'll raise our hitch up into place. Line it up with the hole and then loosely secure it here in the top of the hitch. That's going to hold your hitch into position so we can secure the rest of the hardware. Next, we'll take our half inch bolt and our flat washer that comes with our install kit, feed it through the bracket on the bumper and through our new hitch. On the back side, it will get attached and secured with a flange nut. That'll be the same hardware here on this side also. We'll go ahead and tighten it down and then torque it as specified in the instructions. I'm going to first tighten the bolt here in the middle and then our two side bolts. We'll be using a half inch Allen socket to tighten this down. I can then tighten the two half inch bolts using a three quarter inch socket and wrench. And now I'm going to torque our hardware as indicated in the instructions. And now with our hitch tightened and torqued, we're ready to hook up our trailer and hit the road. And that'll do it for our installation and look at the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 3 with a 2-inch opening, part number 13229 on our 2011 Dodge Dakota.